In this video, I'm going to take you on a little journey to Cleveland, Ohio. I recently had the wonderful opportunity to partner with Nestle Tollhouse and a few renowned pastry chefs from the US to learn about the life cycle of a baking trend, the process of brainstorming new ones, and testing them out for market. Other fellow YouTubers like Lovely Lady Cakes, Backyard Bites, Jen Eats Life, Feast of Fiction, and magazine food editors like Food52, Cooking Light, and Yahoo Food were all there too. We were assigned to a team each led by an esteemed pastry chef, and each group was given a theme to work on. I was on chef Karen Damasco's team, and our baking trend was speed scratch, taking something pre-made, adding other ingredients to build upon it, then customizing it to the seasons or our liking, and making it our own. Karen is the James Beard award-winning pastry chef at Locana Verde and cookbook author of The Craft of Baking. For further inspiration, we leafed through magazines and created a mood board presenting our thought process to the entire group. There were items already laid out on our table, so we took those ingredients and came up with a few dishes to make. I won't tell you what they are yet, but we had a mini shopping haul in their culinary center, like on Food Network, and then got to work. It was so fun getting to know my team. Other baking trend themes included baking without borders, infusion for max flavor, and baking selfie. Think individualized treats. For dinner, the Nestle culinary team brought an amazing tasting menu to life. Thanks for filling my belly with yummy food. Now it's day two and it's time to get our hands dirty. And I got to wear a chef's coat. Our speed scratch team decided to make a not so classic cookie plate, which included chocolate chip witchies with two different fillings. One with salted caramel and orange zest rolled in coconut chips, and another with fresh mint infused chocolate ganache rolled in cocoa nibs. By the way, salted caramel with orange zest is my new favorite. We also made pistachio pinwheel cookies using fresh pistachios that we grinded to a paste with spices like saffron, cinnamon, lemon zest, and honey. It was so delicious. Third cookie was a spice berry bar using Nestle's sugar cookie dough as a shortbread cookie bottom, fresh berry jam that we cooked up, and a streusel topping. Last but not least was a tahini buckeye, our tribute to Ohio State. All five teams placed their dessert on a huge table, building a mountain of original treats. We all got to taste and take a box home. I walked away feeling so inspired by the different uses of ingredients, and I love how other teams took classic desserts and infused their different inspirations into them, especially their cultures and background, like these rice pudding filled cookie domes because the guys were Lebanese. I'm so happy to have met these really amazing people and will definitely apply the things I learned in my future baking adventures. I hope you feel as inspired as I do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!